Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we have got something very, very old and ultra, ultra rare, rare to show you. We are looking at the 1953 release by Jane L. Randall from their series of television viewers. And this particular one that we are looking at today comes complete with a Dan Dare film strip. Well, they all came with film strips, but this particular one has got a Dan Dare film strip with it. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. And it says, front of the box, SEL Television Viewer. And there you can see the an image of the actual item itself. Um, and then with um, characters around the television and the children watching um, the television from the front. Okay, that's the front of the box. Let's just turn it round to the back. And, yep, it's exactly the same as what's on the front. SEL television view and the same, exactly the same images. If I turn the box to the side, uh, you've got a whole lot of characters um, that have film strips in this particular series. Uh, but the one we've got today is of Dan Dare. Um, and if I turn it around to the other side, yep, same images again. So if I drop the box forward, it says SEL television viewer complete with film strip. Um, SEL made in England, and it's exactly the same on the bottom as well. SEL television viewer complete with film strip. Uh, SEL made in England. Okay, so that's the box. I'm quite excited for this, so let's get it out and have a look at what we got inside. Yeah, so I've removed the item from the box, and this is what we got. So we come to that in a second, um, but we come, we get these information. So television viewer insertion of batteries. It is possible when inserting batteries to disturb the setting of the brass battery contacts. Therefore, after inserting batteries, ensure that these contacts are pressing against the top and bottom of the batteries in order to effect proper electrical connection. Okay, so that's straightforward. Um, and it says here, Merit Film Projector and Viewers, catalogue of additional, additional films. Okay, so you've got Dan Daring Down Under, uh, Harris Tweed in Tottering Towers, Jeff Arnold in Bank Hold Up, Dan Dare in Operation uh, Diagonda, Sabotage, Emergency Mars. Um, and then you've got uh, Series C, Pennywise in Taj Mahal Ruby Mystery, Kitty Hawk in Pirates of the Skyways, Judy and Pat in Raising the Alarm, uh, section D, Archie Andrews in Archie on his on the carpet, uh, Shrieks in the Sand and the Big Motor Race, uh, Series E, Tiger Tim in a Busy Day, Crackling Xmas and Tim's Holiday, uh, Series F, Larry the La Larry the Lamb in the Curse of Toy Town Bell, the Kidnapping of Father Xmas and the Arkdale Dragon. And Series G, Billy Bunter in Fun in the Scum, Scrum, uh, The Cookery Class, The Cross Country Runner, and Bunter's Good Deed. And it says Special, The Coronation of H.M. Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, Jane L. Randall, Marriott House, Potter's Bar, Mid-X. Okay, so that's the catalogue. And there we've got the television viewer. And it's to operate the viewer... Uh, remove the magazine and insert batteries uh, for full instructions see inside okay so um, this is the instructions for use the following instructions should be carefully followed for inserting batteries or for changing the film to remove back panel grip panel by placing the thumb in the operating lever slot and the second f finger in the finger grip access pull off firmly but gently Remove mechanism. Carefully slide out from the case. To insert batteries, use two U11 type batteries placed in the position indicated by the engraving on the magazine. Uh, to replace magazine, place the top and bottom runners of the magazine in the grooves in the case and slide right in. Then replace back by reversing procedure in the paragraph one. And it says to operate. Place a viewer on a table with the screen facing you and press the lever on the right side to downwards um, to its fullest extent. Whilst this downward procedure is applied, the picture will be projected onto the TV screen. 
um, allow the lever to return to the to its up position and then press down again repeat this movement until the complete film strips have been shown okay uh, and then it tells you how to change the film and how to change the bulb if necessary um, and that's the batteries inserted and it says how to use the transformer uh, useful hints and to clean the lens and so on okay so that is the item itself so let's have a look at this projector let's put a little bit of light in here so it make it a little bit easier to see okay so um, this is a TV projector that's obviously the screen that it will be projected on um, so cell television viewer um, change batteries or film uh, it tells you to remove it and and then you've got areas there to put plug in a transformer if necessary so if we remove the back cover that's the, the lever oh I see so that slots onto the film and as you push that down it pushes the film down so that okay so that then pulls out and you've got two batteries in which slot onto here which would light the bulb I believe um, and then obviously the film I'm assuming the film just rotates yeah so the film just rotates around and it's projected the light projects the film onto that um, mirror there and that then projects it onto the screen in the back of the yeah so that projects it onto the back of the screen there and which you see it from the front okay now it says the batteries on these are I don't even know what those batteries are uh, U11 type batteries. I'm going to see if I can find some batteries to actually fit this. And let's see if we can actually get it to work. Okay, so I've put a couple of batteries in. Um, and they're just like these these particular batteries. Um, and you can see the bowls lit up. Um, and you can see the light coming through the projector there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, slide that back into the, on the slots. Back onto the... Oh, I'm not in there. I'll put that in wonky. So I need to take that out. So I'm just going to do this off camera. Okay, so I slid the, the, the battery compartment back in and it's all in the right place. Now the batteries are in, the light is on. So I'm just going to replace the cover on the back. And is the bulb still on? Let's just turn the light off now. See, so, yeah, okay. So we can just see on the back there the strip. There we go. Oh, there we go. So you can see the film strip playing through the TV screen. And each time you uh, lift the the um, let the, the handle goes up, the screen goes off. And then as soon as you press it down again, the light comes on, and you get a new um, a film strip. And this is Dan Dare's new invention. Um, hello. I can't quite read that. It's a bit too. It's a bit too small. Let's see if we can bring it in closer. Um, let's see if we can zoom in on it. Uh, yeah, I can't quite read it. Never mind. We'll move on to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yes, I know. Well, what to you will? Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't quite read it. Um, I need to put my glasses on properly to be able to read this, the text that's on here. But um, but you can see the, the the type of film strip that it's showing and how it works, and you can see it's all in full working condition, which is pretty clever. I mean, this is a quite a clever device, really, for the time, 1953. Um, considering there was no such thing as video recorders or um, internet streaming, DVDs or anything like that. This is actually a fascinating um, item to actually power up and see it working. Um, I mean, this must have been great fun back in the 1950s. Um, just as tell you, there's, 
not everywhere had television sets back in the 50s. Um, and they were certainly all black and white. So, yeah, it was. Uh, it, this must have been a fantastic thing uh, to have and to watch back then. Um, it's like I say, there was no such thing as videos or internet streaming and uh, DVD players. You watched television. If you missed your program, you missed it. That was it. So if you wanted to see your favourite TV programs, and th th this is actually a comic strip as well, because Dan Dare was from the Eagle comic. Um, so this is pretty much a comic strip that's coming to life on a miniature TV screen. So, yeah, I mean, this is incredible. I think this is fantastic. A really, really good concept. And this is so well ahead of its time. This must have been amazing. It must have been absolutely amazing back in the day. So that does beg the question, how well did this item do? Well, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I really don't know. Um, we've had a couple of these items come in, um, and I've never seen them before. And I tried to research them on the internet, and I couldn't see um, much information on these. So they must have been quite rare. Um, I don't know how many were produced or whether what the volume was that sold uh, or ha if they sold lots of them and, and if they just died over the course of time. I don't know. But I can. what I can tell you is it's fantastic. It's such a good nostalgic piece. And it, the, the TV, it reminds me of a television that my grandmother used to have. So there we go. It's It's just awesome i think absolutely awesome and the fact that it's in full working condition um even though you you do need to wear glasses to be able to read the text that's on there but um but otherwise it's just absolutely fantastic um so what can i say as i said to you trying to find information on this is very difficult because uh, they're, they're so few and far between hardly anything um on the internet at all that relates to this but so i really don't know how they're done but if you're something you're interested in if you're into all this nostalgic stuff if you're into dan dare this item will be for you it is absolutely incredible i'm so chuffed that we've actually got this and we've actually taken it out and got it to to work i'm so thrilled with it however um finding these items obviously incredibly difficult as you all know um, but we at Minus Hatch have a couple available and they're all in fully, fully working condition, just as this one is. And they are available to purchase on the Minus Hatch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many, many other vintage uh, Randall items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody and I'm absolutely sure you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be the item you've been looking for. And believe me when I say we have got some absolutely amazing items coming through soon, which our team are working on to get ready um, for uh, uploading onto the internet and to have video shot. Um, and the, the, believe me when I say there's some really awesome stuff coming. So stay tuned, keep watching, because you won't be disappointed. Okay, that's it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.